Now then, crew, and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. And we've got what I think is a 2020-ish uh, Suzuki King Quad 500cc single cylinder engine. Obviously, a four stroke. Uh, two strokes are a lot more fun, though, aren't they? Uh, and in this video, as part of a series of videos covering the servicing requirements of this particular vehicle, uh, we're going to be uh, replacing the air filter. Now, it may be that when we take the old one out, it might just require a clean, but it also might need to be replaced. We don't know yet. I do have a spare new air filter ready in stock, just in case we need it. Uh, this is not a genuine one, by the way. That is the part number there, look. You can see that. There you go. Just in case. And this is a no-toil air filter. Probably available online, you know. And, of course, they do all the various cleaners and stuff. I won't be using that particular cleaner. I've got some other stuff that I normally use. Okay, well, let's get right to it and find out what the service manual says to do this job. Here we go. <laughs> Used. said Fred. Okay, in the service manual it states air filter element inspection and cleaning every thousand kilometers or 600 miles or three months, whichever is the soonest. Obviously in really dusty conditions you've got to do it a lot more. Inspection, remove the air, uh, air cleaner element, refer to air cleaner element removal and installation in section 1D, page 1D-5. Right, we better go there I suppose. 1D-5, 1D, almost, there we go, right, it's not on that page, Let's just bring it down a bit, ah, what's this one, air cleaner box, removal installation, da 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 da, no, we don't want to take the whole air box out, Bottle body. One D dash five. Ah, there we go. Look, it's down here. Air cleaner, element removal and installation. Removal. Remove the seat. I reckon we can work that one out. Remove the air cleaner box cover. Uh, refer to front side exterior parts removal and installation in section 9D-6, which should just basically be on. Um, okay, this is easy. Right, so let's go and take the seat off and take that cover off that goes over the air box, which is basically where the fuel tank used to be on quad bikes. Right, seat off, dead easy, little latch at the back. Right, that's that out of the way. What's next? Okay, we need this cover taken off. So we've got some pu uh, push pins or pull pins, just our plastic rivets. We well, call them what you like, they're all different names. Pull those out both either side, and there's a couple more down this end as well. So we'll get those whipped out and we'll get that cover taken off and get to the air filter. I must admit, Suzuki, I am not a fan at all of these little pin things. I oh, was saying that one. <laughs> that one came out really easy. <laughs> they don't normally. I bet this doesn't come out quite so easy. I bet it doesn't. Hey, not bad. Is it going to come out easily or is it going to be an absolute pain? It came out really easy. <laughs> I like the ones in the fenders. Last one, like the close-up action. We do our very best, don't we? It's not easy working around the camera, though. And you are only perched on a bit of angle iron that's not even connected to the bike. It's just sat there at the bottom. Right, so next tool required. There we go. Right, is that enough? Yes, perfect. Now, if all goes to plan, this cover should now be able to be pulled off. 
he says. Yes, there we go. Look, some additional little sort of slidey clips at the back. Okay, one air filter. See that cover taken off. You are precariously balanced on the quad, so if you fall off, blame me. Good old wing nuts. You can't go wrong with wing nuts, can you? Okay. I've never taken one of these off before, so we'll find out. Ah, right. Yes. Not the cleanest thing in the world, is it? Okay, to the bench. Right, air filter is out, and it definitely needs a bloody good clean, that's for sure. It has got oil on it. You can see this blue residue there. That's the oil that you put on the actual filter element after you've cleaned it, and we'll be doing that, and that oil is there to trap the small particles of dust and dirt that are trying to get into your engine all the time. Well, the engine's running, obviously. Um, so, we'll pull that off. I think the first thing to do is give it a clean, and then, in actual fact, it's got a paper element on the inside as well. That's pretty good. So we've got a, a foam element on the outside that can be cleaned, and that's also got a, a you know secondary sort of filtering is a, a paper filter. Pretty cool, actually. Pretty extensive. That's good. Okay, so how the hell do we get this off? Right, so there we go. Look. So the element itself, the actual foam element, just comes off the actual filter like that, like a little sock. And underneath, exposes the paper filament. Now, one thing I have noticed is this filter fits from the top down. You saw when I pulled it out. And the foam at the base is a sealing ring that will seal against the actual air box itself. Now, it's normal practice, if you watch some of my other videos, it's normal practice to put grease on that sealing surface to prevent any air bypassing around the side of the filter element and going into the engine and sort of sneaking between this and the plastic uh, casing. Now, it is a bit sticky. I think somebody has put some kind of spray grease on that and that's probably good enough. Uh, we're gonna use normal grease when we come to, you know, put it back in the bike again. But we can give the, I don't know, maybe, we can probably give the uh, the paper element a bit of a blowout. It doesn't look too bad, actually. It's pretty clean. It's all right, is that, isn't it? Yeah. But this needs a really good wash. Now, this filter element looks different to what's in the bag that I was sent. Odd. Okay, we should have a look at that. Yes. So... Upon further inspection, we know that this bike is only done 1800 kilometers. It's not very old. <sighs> I did supply the dealer the VIN number of the bike. Anyway, not to worry. It does list the King Quad 500 on the actual sticker there, look on the label. But it says from 2009 to 2015. That's a long time before this bike even was designed, before it even went on the market. So this filter, this element, which has got an end piece to it as well, unlike the one that came out, which is just a tube, this filter is incorrect, which means we're going to have to give this one a clean and hopefully it won't fall apart. If it does, I've got a problem. Right. Oh, it's important that you don't use petrol to clean these filter elements because it can cause the glue, the bonding, and that would be that bit there look where the seam is it can cause that to fail it can also cause sometimes the actual foam itself to dissolve and disappear in front of your eyes we don't want that let me go and find out what i've got to give this thing a clean other than petrol it seems we have a budding new lumberjack living in the village Yes. Right, I have managed to find some what's left of a can of air filter cleaner. There's not a lot left in there. I think it might be just enough for this little filter. Made by, I don't know, Max Maxima Racing Oils. Look at that, I bought this years ago. Hmm, so Andy, why 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 has it lasted so long? Do you use petrol to clean your air filters? No, I wouldn't do that. Right. Okay. 
hopefully there'll be enough. Let's give it a go. Right, doing it over uh, in a tub, so that if need be, and we run out, I can still use whatever's in the tub again. Ooh, it's about half of what we've got. Right, let's work that in. It's going to work. Honestly. Fancy practicing to be a lumberjack on a Saturday. Whoa, this stuff stinks. Beautiful, look at that. Lots of forest coming out of there and animal poo and all sorts of stuff. Great job. It does seem to be working though, doesn't it? Oh, using a well ventilated area. Jeez. Makes you wonder where all the dirt goes, doesn't it? I mean, there's still bits of tree and stuff in there. Yeah, well, it's not too bad. We're a long way from being finished there. Right, well the next job, once this bit's done, is to run it under some normal warm water just to wash out all the cleaner. So I always often go under that in the house. Hopefully Mrs. Mechanic won't spot me. And then we'll come back and we'll just see how good it is. Jeez, I've got our fingers to turn the camera off. Bugger. <laughs> right, I am back wasn't too bad it looks pretty clean actually it's still got some of the cleaning agent in it it wasn't really very water soluble to be honest I had to really squeeze it out and then the water just acts as a carrier to run it off down the sink also I don't know how, <laughs> how environmentally friendly it is it says on here toxic see that little skull and crossbone symbol there look not too sure that really wants to be going down the drain to be honest um, so, it's still wet, it's still got some residue in it, so we'll grab some blue roll and we'll try and squeeze out the vast majority of it and then it says to put it out of the sunshine to dry. It's not sunny today, it's actually quite cold, overcast and it keeps raining, so that's not going to work. I do have a heater that I can stick it on and dry it out that way. It needs to be dry before we put the oil, the, the fresh oil, the air filter oil, onto the actual filter element. Don't do it while it's still wet. That's bad. Right, see how clean we can get this thing. Jeez, it gets absolutely everywhere, there's this stuff. Okay, so we'll stick it around like that. We'll just give it a little squidge out. See if we can sort of get most of the moisture out. It might take three or four goes or more just to you know, try and squeeze out all that moisture and get it caught in the in the roll, the blue roll. It's bloody absorbent this stuff, it's really good. Thanks, Jared. Right, we'll go and grab another one. And we'll try the same a few times. But it is a million times better than it was, isn't it? You can see all the debris and dirt has now gone. I don't see any reason why I can't blow it out with the airline as well, to be honest. It's not the it's not, oh, it won't start. Can you hear him trying to start the uh, chainsaw again? It won't run. Excellent. That's what we like. Bloody neighbours. Okay. Right, yes, yeah, so we'll give it a blow out with the airline bit later on. But let's just keep, keep on with the moisture extraction. Right. Get in there. And you've got to sort of be quite delicate with these things, to some extent. You know, be, be, be at least conscious that you can tear them. Because if we tear it, that's it, game over. Because the one I've been sent is the wrong one. Don't want to have to try and modify it. That's not what you do with air filters because they're very, very important and they have to work properly, don't they? And you can't risk any kind of, you know, gap or leakage, I suppose you could call it. And we'll just keep doing this until all the moisture's come out. Well, I say moisture, it's actually the cleaner agent as well that's coming out. Jeez. Oh, 
I think we've done a pretty good job there. One more, then I'll be happy. Sorry, Jared, we're munching through the old uh, blue roll today. And of course, it started to rain again. There we go, I think we've got it all, actually. Pretty good. Right, let's get rid of all that lot, don't need those anymore. Okay, now time for an airline, just to give it a quick blast. See if we can get this, these final bits. There's, there's quite a few small bits of twig and um, stuff in there. So let's see if we can blow that out. Okay, now it's important we don't blow it back through the air filter. This was the outside, this is the inside. So I need to try and blow it away from the filter. We just turn it inside out, that'll work. Turn it inside out, easier to hold, and we'll blast it through. I think we're getting there, I think so. Right, let's have a look. Better, not perfect. Still think petrol works better, to be honest. Seems to get all this little bit, all these little bits out. But that's just going to have to be good enough. Because I don't think blasting it from the outside is going to help. It seems to be like lots of little tiny bits of thorn that's actually stuck in the air filter element itself. I'm not too concerned actually because it's only the pre-filter. There's still the paper filter, so we'll give that a quick blast with the airline as well. Now the airline's out, and then we'll get some oil put on that foam. Let's see if we get more dust out of here. Nah, it seems pretty good out here. Okay, that works. Right. So, we now need to oil the foam. So let me go and find me oil, and we'll get on with that. Right. There we go, look. There's our air filter oil. One 99% clean air filter. Into the oil it goes. Soak it all up. Right, and so squeeze it through. There's obviously way too much in there at the moment. And a filter of this size really doesn't need very much at all. Make sure it's evenly distributed. There's no areas that haven't got any oil in it. In it. There we go, it's looking pretty good, isn't it? Quite happy with that. Yep, yeah, that's the inside, remember? The outside's easy because you can spot it because of all the bits of. It's not too bad now, actually. I think we're about there, you know. Okay, done. Let's get rid of this. Right, just while the air filter's drying off, I'm not very happy with the top of this paper filter element. It's all part, the plastic piece seems to be part of the actual filter, it doesn't want to separate. So, I'm gonna to have to clean it with the filter in place. So I've got some of the Forch brake cleaner, pretty good stuff actually. I do like this, the R510, works very well actually. Proof in the pudding, here you go. Hopefully it's not gonna go on the lens. Right, let's give it a quick white round. And it hasn't gone on the paper filter element, which is good. That was the plan. 
because there's a bit of an overlap. A bit of a lip. I just can't bring myself to fit something in this kind of condition back on the bike. I know it makes no difference whatsoever to its function, but it looks horrendous. Right, I think we're about there. We'll give it another blast off with the old brake cleaner again. Okay, here it goes. Don't get it in your eyes. It stings. I know. Oh, nearly. Jeez, did you get any? Oh, you nearly got some. Right. Okay. Bit of blue roll. Clean the bench. Excellent. I like clean benches. Okay. Airline. All right, mind your eyes and ears. How was that? It's like a new one. Right, next job is to reinstall the air filter element, the foam element that we've cleaned and re-oiled. Super careful, we don't want to rip it because we've got no spare. Now, what's important is to make sure it's tucked into its little lip around the top. In there, look. It's probably stretched a little bit from all the working that we've done. But it should we should be able to get it in there, okay? Right. Looking pretty good. I'll double check that end once we get this end done. Now with this end again, we need to make sure that it's in that metal lip there, look. Because if it's not in properly, air can bypass it. And in which case, it's not doing its job anymore, is it? Oh yeah. Pretty good! Okay, so all that's left to do now, like I said right at the start, is this end of the filter is a sealing surface and it should have grease on it. It did have something on it. it. Might have been a spray grease, I don't know. But given the working conditions for this bike, we're gonna use real grease. I have no problems with doing things the old school way. Because you know what? They work. It's surprising now how many people don't do this. They don't grease the ceiling surface. Even on dirt bikes, I mean, seriously. Asking for trouble, people, really are. <laughs> Saying that, the old BSAs and stuff on the Nortons didn't have any air filters. They were just little trumpet intakes straight into the engine, through the cab. There was just no air filtration whatsoever. Right. I'll tell you what, nothing's getting past that, is it? Okay, we can stick this back in the bike. Woohoo! You're perched again on the bike, so don't fall off. Hold on tight. Right, we're going in. Go across, thread it, Mr. Young. There we go. Phew! Looks a lot better now it's been clean. Makes the rest of the bike look terrible, doesn't it? And just make sure it's seated properly on that top lip. There we go, that works. Cool. Well, there we go. Another stage of the service on this Suzuki King Quad 500 AXI. About a 2020 model. We're a bit, the models are a bit weird here in New Zealand because we often get old stock from around the world. So you guys might, might go say, and it's a, it's a 2019, what are you playing at? I don't know. Tell me, that's what the comments are for. Anyway, air filter is done. We've also already done the engine oil change. That's a video that went out first. Then we did the front diff oil change. Then we did the spark plugs. Two of them, single cylinder, I know. Uh, and now we've just done the air filter 
clean and refit. Next on the list, not sure. You'll have to find out and wait and see. It'll be a surprise. If you enjoyed the video, why not click on the subscribe button? Uh, ring the bell, that way you won't miss any new videos about to hit the channel. Uh, if there's a bit of a gap and I'm busy and I don't upload any new videos, then there's about 550 videos already on the channel for you to go and have a look at. Just dig through the archives. You'll find a much younger Andy Mechanic on there. Well, I'll look a lot younger. It's only about five years ago, but it's amazing, you know, what hard work does to you. <laughs> uh, you'll also find me on um, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Feel free to communicate through any of those portals. Uh, you can also email me directly, and it is me that answers the emails. And my email address is down the bottom in the description. Now, if you want to support the channel, and if you do, I'd be very, very grateful. You know, these videos do cost money to make. And uh, there's quite a few viewers out there that do donate on a regular basis through Patreon. So you can go on to there, have a little look around. There's some behind the scenes stuff, lots of photos to download of the tall girls and stuff as well. And there's going to be some more stuff going up soon. Or you can send a direct one off payment through PayPal. And again, same email address, andymechanic at live.co.uk. Okay, crew, well, I better crack on. Lots more to do. See you next time. Cheers. Over and out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>